Still cutting your videos the old, slow way. You slap all of your clips onto one timeline and go through each one painstakingly. There's a better, faster way. Howdy squids, I'm Brian, and today, let me show you how to three-point edit. Three-point editing is essentially a fast way to trim and assemble clips to get them ready for a final edit. You have an in or a starting point, an out or an ending point, and an insert point or insertion point. In our case, that'll be the playhead. If you have multiple clips or you're working with a larger project, this is the go-to method. Even if you're fairly new to Premiere, you should be able to follow along just fine. Let's get into it. To start, go ahead and open up your Premiere file. Go ahead and drag all your clips into the bin here. I have a pre-made bin for clips already ready here. I already have a timeline set up here, but we'll go ahead and set up a new one. So go ahead and hit, hit Control N, and then you can go up here to Digital SLR, go to 1080p, go over to the settings, change it to 60 frames, or change it to whatever frame rate and resolution that you shot your footage at. New, why not? And now we can start the assembly. When you first open up your Premiere file, it will probably look something like this. This is usually the all panels page. We're gonna wanna go ahead and go to the assembly page for this. One thing we do wanna do is go ahead and remove the program panel here because really we only need the source because that's what we'll be cutting from. So go ahead and right click here and click close panel. The controls you'll see me using as we go through here is spacebar to play. And then I'll be using the up and down arrow keys to go to the next point. Basically, if you don't have an in and out point, this will just go to the beginning and the end. And then you'll see me using J, K, and L respectively to reverse, pause, and go forward. You can double press those keys to times two, times four, you get the idea. Let's take a listen to the beginning of this clip because obviously I don't want to start it from the very beginning here. I want to start where basically the start of the video is. All right. How's that 700 pounds? None of us is a... How's that 700 pound deadlift going? Well, I'm done bulking, so it's gonna be really hard to get strong if I'm cutting my calories now for my bodybuilding show. That's approximately the clip that I wanna select. So what I did here is I pressed I to set an in point, and then I let it play to the point that I want. I pressed O to set an out point. This little highlighted section in between here is what we'll be inserting. So now that I have that little selection already made, I can go ahead and hit the comma key and that'll insert it on the timeline that I created. And that's where the three points essentially come from. You have the end point, the very beginning. You have the out point that declares basically the end of the part of the clip that you wanna take. And then you insert it onto your third point, the playhead. Now you can go through the rest of this clip and essentially do the same thing. So let's go ahead and go to the next section here. We'll let it play a little bit, not like I would actually cut it, but. Let's go ahead and start this next section right here. I'll press I to set an endpoint. Do a grip video. Yeah, we did a grip video and I'll be entering a grip contest in a couple months. I'm pretty sure that I want this point to be the next part that I insert into the video. So we'll go ahead and hit O for the out point. And once again, comma to insert it. And I haven't clicked into this timeline at all here. If you just let the playhead keep going, it'll automatically jump to the end of the clip that you're inserting. You shouldn't have to touch the playhead when you're doing this process. Now you can go through the rest of this clip and make sure that you cut all the points here, but let's say that I'm done with this particular clip. I can go ahead and double click the next clip here, and then I can do the same process. I to start, I, O to set the out point, and then comma to insert. Typically when you're three point editing, you wanna go from start to finish on all of your clips. Before you go back and watch anything, three point cut all of the stuff that you've received. Now let's say that you have actually assembled all of the parts of the clips. You three pointed edited everything that you want. Go ahead and go to the top here and click all panels, or you can click the editing panel, whichever your actual next step is. I would go to all panels because I like having everything on one screen. Then you can press the up arrow key until you get to the beginning or you can just press the home key to go to the very beginning of the timeline. And obviously this isn't cut to size, but this is just an example of what it would look like with all the clips next to each other. Now you don't have to worry too much about the actual timing of those clips. Like the, the one to two seconds that you're gonna shave in the very beginning here, that can be done in another stage that's called the second pass. And congrats, that's the basics of how to three point edit. Hopefully that speeds up your workflow or gets you a little more used to working on bigger projects. For any kind of project with multiple clips, Three-point editing is a great technique to use. Thank you so much for watching today. And if you liked the video, gently tap the like button. Don't, no more destroying. Before you actually record your footage, you may want to do a little bit of planning on the forefront to make it easier on yourself. And if you want some help with that process, go ahead and check out this video right here. This one, this one right here.